let's talk about yarn needles and tapestry needles. We use yarn needles and tapestry needles for almost every crochet project you're going to make. We use them to weave in our ends at the end of projects, to attach pieces together, even to embroider different looks or different colored yarn onto projects, such as if you want to sew on the look of an eye, or if you want to sew on a letter onto your project. You're going to be doing this using a yarn needle or tapestry needle. Now, what is the difference between the two? Because there are, there are two different names. So is there a difference between a yarn needle and a tapestry needle? Actually, no. The research that I did indicated that the yarn needle and tapestry needle don't have any real differences. They're both referred to as the same thing. It's just a different name for it. You may also hear the term darning needle, and that's just gonna get thrown in the mix. Yarn needle, tapestry needle, darning needle, they all do the same thing. And that is weaving in your ends, attaching pieces of projects to each other, and embroidering onto a piece of work. However, there are some differences. There are some variety of yarn needles, tapestry needles, darning needles that are out there. And it can be confusing thinking, is one better than the other? Should I be using one opposed to another? And honestly, a lot of it will come to personal preference. Uh, so it's gonna be taking, you know, playing with a lot of these different types of yarn needles and figuring out which one seems to work best for you. But what I'm going to do in this video is share with you all the different types that are out there. That way you can at least have an idea of what the options are. That way, if you want to play with different options to find what works best for you, you at least know what you have to work with. Let's start with plastic versus metal. Is one better than the other? Actually, no, it's personal preference. Whatever one that you prefer to work with best, use that one. The next differentiation will be pointed end versus blunt. You will notice that some yarn needles will have a more rounded, smooth end at the top. Now, sometimes it's fine. You don't have to worry about poking your finger and it hurting. It's a nice, smooth, blunt tip to your yarn needle. However, Having that pointed tip at the top of your yarn needle can aid you into entering in stitches more smoothly, especially if you're dealing with really tight worked stitches. It might be helpful to have that pointed end to work where you want it to work. Also, if you want to work in between yarn strands, such as the thread of your yarn, you wanna work between the yarn itself, the pointed end will come in handy for that as well because it helps get you where you wanna be. Finding the right size of yarn needle to use may be the most important decision of your whole yarn needle decision process. And the best way to decide which size works best for you is knowing what yarn you are working with. Some yarn is really thin. We're talking size two, size three, lightweight, fine sport weight, lace even yarn, just the really, really thin yarn, you're going to want to work with a yarn needle with a smaller eye at the top, just so the yarn stays put and you don't lose it. It works just better that way. However, if you're working with a larger yarn, such as a size five, six, seven, bulky, super bulky jumbo yarn, you might find it more helpful to have a yarn needle with a larger eye that the yarn will actually fit in when you thread it through. So here we got two different sizes and there's actually quite a large spectrum of different sized yarn needles that you can get your hands on. These are the more typical size, whereas this is a more jumbo sized yarn needle. But having your hands or having a different variety of sizes will just allow you to easily have something on hand to use that will work for you and your project. The last real differentiation between yarn needles that you're going to see is whether the tip of the yarn needle is bent or if it's straight. Now there are yarn needles that are metal with a bent tip and there are yarn needles that are plastic with a straight tip. So it, that there, the material it's made out of can be found in either plastic or metal. But what you're gonna notice is the difference between the tip. Is it bent or straight? Now, bent can be helpful to get you a more precise, like I wanna enter in that stitch right there and then 
you kind of spoon it, cup it into that stitch, and it's a more swooping motion. Whereas with the straight edge, you really have to find what you're doing. And I mean, honestly, they both work great. It's again, personal preference on which one works best for you. So I just highly recommend you grab both of them, play with them, see which one works best for you is the most comfortable experience for you and just work with that. But they'll both do the job just fine. Before we close out the video on the yarn needles, tapestry needles, I did wanna mention finding this tool and this tool that will help you to feed the yarn through the eye of your yarn needle. Now, sometimes we can really struggle with getting that yarn through the eye of the needle so we can use the yarn needle. And that's where these tools come in. So let's start with this guy right here. If you take the little hook part and insert it into the eye of the needle, then you would grab the yarn and pull the yarn through the eye and then the needle is threaded for you and you're ready to go. Super fast, super easy, and really inexpensive. I believe this was like $1.50. Then there's this guy right here. Let me go ahead and put it you there. This guy right here is really neat. It has, it's hard to see it, but it has this little thing right here. What you will do is first you will thread the eye of the needle through. Then you will take your yarn and place your yarn through the eye and then pull through and it will thread the eye for you. The other thing that this tool has is a little cutter on the other end. So if you want to cut your yarn at any point, you can just cut and it's just like a little razor blade, a little cutter right there. So this one might be used a little bit more for thread and for sewing but this little tool is amazing, super awesome. Only, like I said, $1.50 or maybe cheaper if you find it on Amazon. But that one, that one was really cool and will help you to feed the eye of your yarn needle for faster, easier use. Well, that's everything there is to talk about when it comes to yarn needles, tapestry needles, and darning needles. What I was hoping for in this video is to share with you and enlighten you of all the varieties that are available to you. That way, if you are working with a size jumbo yarn and you get to the end to weave in your ends and you only have a standard sized yarn needle to weave in your ends, you may get frustrated, but now you know that there is a jumbo sized yarn needle available to you to help you out. Also, if you struggle to just thread yarn through the eye of your yarn needle, now you know there is this really cool little tool that can help make that easy peasy for you. And that is the whole point of this video is just helping you to see what is available to you. Now, when it comes to plastic versus metal or pointed top versus blunt top or bent top versus straight top, a lot of that just comes down to personal preference. One is not better than the other. It's just what works best for you. So play with it, play with different options, see what just fits you best and go with it. <laughs> All right, guys, if you had a lot of fun with this video, you're gonna wanna check out my next video where I talk about stitch markers. And there's a lot to talk about when it comes to stitch markers. <laughs> so just keep it going. I hope you're having fun and I will see you with the next video. Bye guys.